everybody, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we have moved. Um, I'll probably do a tour at some point in a different video. But, you know, okay, so this video is going to be really random. Um, but it's something that, like, I've been thinking about almost all day. So, as most of you know, I have a four-year-old, and I'm pregnant with my second baby. Um, it's going to be another boy. Um, but, you know, moms are... Almost how to a certain, like, standard when it comes to, like, the older generation where, um, you know, having piercings or tattoos or, like, funky colored hair or things like that is, like, you know, considered unconventional when it comes to being a parent. Um, a lot of, like, the older generation looks down on that saying it's a bad influence on your kids, blah, 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 whatever. Well, as, excuse me, as some of you know, I think I've talked about it in previous videos before, maybe not. Um, I do want to get ta uh, tattoos eventually. Um, there's, you know, a few, few, like, piercings that I want to get. Like, I want to get a, um, piercing here and here. I want to get this part pierced and then another hole down here. I want my nose pierced. Um, you know, and then the same on this side. Um, and, um... Like as far as tattoo goes, so on this arm, I want to get a whole bunch of flowers with butterflies, but do it like black and white where I can still like color them in when I get depressed. And then on my wrist, I want to get, um, get a tattoo of a butterfly when getting... That'll be when Gideon gets older and can actually draw. I want Gideon to draw me a butterfly that says, I love you, Mommy, around it. Um, and then on this arm, um, I want to get a hammerhead shark that's wrapped around my arm, um, on my back, along my spine. I want to get, like, the moon phases and a dragon. Um similar to the dragon from Skyrim um but yeah so like I have a lot of like tattoos and piercings ideas that I want to get not just that hold on um I want to color my hair for those of you who've like watched older videos of mine I have excuse me, I have colored my hair before. I've colored it black. Um, my natural hair color is a, almost a chestnut brown color. Maybe a little bit darker than that. Um, the lighting's not great in here, which is why the video's kind of dark. But I want to color my hair red. Um, that way it's still like kind of a natural color but it's still something different and you know I was talking um, to a friend of mine about it she's older like my parents age and you know she really like kind of made a big deal about how she couldn't understand why kids my age kids my age feel like they need to um change the way they look and you know it's not about it's not always about a need to change 
something about how you look. So like, like the flowers on my arm and the butterflies. Um, I know I've mentioned the butterflies before. Um, I've mentioned the flowers. But for those of you who haven't watched that video, um, there's something that went around my school when I was in middle school called the Butterfly Project where um, you would have a friend or family member, someone who, who means a lot to you, who knows about your like depression and anxiety or whatever, they would draw a, a butterfly on your arm um, and if you cut it would kill the butterfly so it was a way of like preventing you from not necessarily preventing you from cutting but it was trying to you know in some ways prevent you from cutting as well as a, have a be have it be a physical remind reminder on um you know, you have, like, people who you can talk to kind of thing. Um, and as far as the flowers go, every time I get depressed, um, I usually draw flowers up my arm. Um, so, that's kind of where the butter or where the flowers came from. My mother-in-law, both my mom and my mother-in-law and my dad, hate the fact that I draw myself. Um, but, and my mother-in-law, it's more of, um, she says there's better ways of dealing with my mental health issues than to draw myself. And that, um, that's not appropriate since I have kids, or I'll be, have two kids. Right now I only have... Gideon, as far as who will be seeing, seeing my, fl my flowers. But you know, Gideon loves when I draw myself. He loves watching me. Um, he loves seeing all the colors. Um, so it kind of always bothered me that, you know, she would say that. But I think we need to drop the stigma that, um, that A, it's unconservative for parents to do things to change the way they look, as far as, like, hair color, tattoos, piercings, things like that. I think we need to drop the stigma that that's a bad thing to do when you're pregnant, or <laughs> pregnant, to do when you're a parent, and... I think we need to drop the stigma that um, when you have kids, your mental health issues go away. Because that's not true. Um, I struggle with PTSD, anxiety, depression, um, like so many so many different things that um you know I uh, right now Gideon doesn't understand you know my mental health issues and I don't think that it's something that he's going to fully understand for a while I mean he's four um, but it's also not something that I necessarily try to hide from him. Um, you know, I think that it's, as parents, or as family in general, I think that it is a healthy thing to, you know teach kids about things like depression and anxiety because the younger you teach them 
even though they don't fully understand it right away. The younger you teach a child things like that and, you know, remind them that you love them and that it's okay um, and that they can talk to you about it or whatever, the more likely you are to have the kind of relationship that when they get to be in middle school and high school where they start having those feelings, the more likely they are to talk to you about it. Um, and as far as like piercings, coloring your hair, tattoos, it's a creative outlet. Like, kids love you know, color and art and creativity. Like, kids are the most imaginative and creative human, human beings I ever met. And it's like as we get older and we're taught that we need to rein that in a little bit, the more we lose our creativity. Um, and I think that things like piercings and tattoos and hair dye kind of rekindle that imagination in adults. Um, plus, I've never actually heard a little kid say anything bad about someone who has tattoos or funky colored hair. It's usually the parents. So I think we need to drop the stigma that being a little unconservative is a bad thing. Because it's not. Um, it's a creative outlet. And, you know, some people, it helps with your mental health issues. Especially when your brain is telling you you have no control over anything. You know, being able to control what you do with your body can help you know, um, help you cope with your mental health issues. Um, and this is on subject, but kind of off subject as well. When is it, when did it become weird for, especially moms to wear Shirts that have, like, comic book characters, like, superheroes, or, I mean, one of our nurses loves anything that's Disney, especially if it's The Little Mermaid. And, you know, again, my mother-in-law um, used to always make a comment about the fact that she always wore things that have Disney. Speaking of Disney, I get Dumbo on my shirt. Um, and you know, I go, I go out places with like my Harry Potter shirts or like um, I have a shirt that has, has Star Wars on it. I have a shirt that has Ninja Turtles. And you know, I always get weird looks unless I'm out with my son. And it's like, okay, what, are women not allowed to like superheroes? Are, is wearing things that have Disney characters on it immature for someone who is in their 20s? Like, why is it that unless I'm with my four-year-old son, where it's like, then they're like, oh, she has kids, okay, whatever, that it's somehow not okay for me to wear clothes like that. When did that start? And why is that a bad thing? I mean, so what if I like Star Wars and Harry Potter and Disney? Like, that doesn't make me a bad mom. Doesn't make me a, you know... An adult that can't be supervised, I mean, granted, when I drink, probably not, but, you know,
that's not a bad thing. And it shouldn't be looked at as a bad thing. But yeah. Alright, my rant is over. Um, I... I know I haven't done any videos in a while, and I'm so sorry. Um, I probably won't for for much for a while longer too mostly because I am due in oh, sorry baby belly I am due in like three to five weeks so I'm gonna have my hands full with a four year old and a newborn so chances of me playing video games or making videos um these kind of videos may be depending on how tired i am um i might still do but it's still gonna be a while before i do any you know video game you know live streams but um I will at some point make a video of a tour of our apartment once I get everything a little bit more organized. Um, we moved in like a month ago, I think. Yeah, about a month ago. Um, actually, hold on.